So since Euler's coupling load, it is P is equal to pi square E I divided by L E square. Okay. This is the Euler's coupling load. It is P is equal to pi square E I divided by L E square. So these are some boundary conditions. When both ends are hinged, when columns are both ends are hinged, the relation between equivalent length and actual length, that is L E is equal to L. Okay. So just put L E L E value in Euler's equation. That is means here. In this equation, just put this one. It is L is equal to L. It will get pi square E I divided by L square. Pi square E I divided by L square. Okay. So second boundary condition. One end fixed and other end free. And one end fixed and other end free. Then L is equal to 2 L. So just put here L is equal to 2 L. What will we get? Pi square E I. L E it is 2 L square. So 2 L square it will be 2, 2 square it will be 4, 4 L square. So it will get equation Euler's uh, crippling load it will be at pi square E I divided by 4 L square. Okay. So third boundary condition both ends fixed. When both ends are fixed, so L is equal to L by 2. So just put L is equal to L by 2 in this equation. So it will get pi square E I divided by L E it is L by 2 square. L by 2 square. So 2 square it will get upper side. It will get 4 pi square E I divided by L square. Okay. That fourth one, one end fixed and other end hinged. Then one end fixed and other end hinged. So at that time, L E is equal to L by root 2. So just put L E is equal to L by root 2 in this equation. So L E is equal to L by 2. L by root 2 square. So root, root 2 square it will get upper side. So 2, 2 pi square E I divided by L square. Okay. These are the some boundary condition and relation between equivalent length and actual length and crippling load. Okay. For, for actual length. Okay. For actual length.